Malcolm X once expressed that the black woman is not only the most disrespected individual but also the most vulnerable, a reality that still persists today. Looking back at history, particularly during our upbringing and education, we noticed a significant absence of strong black women in the curriculum. Apart from Rosa Parks, it appears that the contributions of many other remarkable women are often overlooked. This is truly unfortunate because when we delve deeper into the history of black females beyond what we was taught, we discovered some incredibly fascinating figures. Before we jump into the main content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. We have a lot of exciting content coming your way. Now, let's set sail on this incredible journey and unlock the timeless wisdom hidden within the story of strong black women. Let's explore a few examples. First, let's talk about Queen Mother Yasantua. Yasantua was the leader of the Iguazu tribe of the Ashanti people in what is now modern-day Ghana. In March 1914, she fearlessly led an army of thousands against the British colonial forces who were occupying Ghana at the time. Yasantua's objective was to resist British efforts to subjugate her people and prevent them from seizing the Golden Stool, which symbolized the Asante nation's unity and sovereignty. For three months, she successfully besieged the British fort in Kumasi, forcing them to call for reinforcements. Eventually, Yasantua and her closest advisors were exiled to Seychelles, where she lived until her death in October 1921. This siege, known as Yasantua's War, was one of the last major conflicts in Africa to be led by a woman. Now, let's discuss the Dahomey Amazons. The Dahomey Amazons, also known as the Mino, were an all-female military regiment of the Fon people in the Kingdom of Dahomey, present-day Benin. This formidable army of women existed from the 17th to the 19th century. While Europeans referred to them as Amazons due to their similarities with the mythical ancient Amazons, they called themselves non maiden meaning, our mothers, in the Fon language. These women were highly trained and fiercely aggressive. They were renowned for beheading enemies on the battlefield and torturing captives. In 1851, Queen Hengbi was one of the notable leaders of the Dahomey Amazons. She led an army of 6,000 women against the Egba fortress of Abiokuda. Although the Dahomey Amazons fought with spears, bows, and swords, the Egba had acquired European cannons, resulting in the survival of only about 1,200 of the Dahomey warriors. In 1890, King Behanzin utilized the Dahomey female fighters alongside male soldiers during the First Franco-Dahomean War. The French army suffered defeats at the hands of these skilled and ruthless women. Lastly, let's explore the reign of Queen Amenarinas of the Kingdom of Kush in Northeast Africa. She ruled between 40 BC and 210 BC, a time when Roman Emperor Augustus imposed taxes on her people. In 24 BC, Queen Amenarinas and her son Akita led an army of 30,000 men to sack the Roman fort in the Egyptian city of Aswan. They also destroyed statues of Caesar in Elephantine under orders from Augustus. In retaliation, the Roman general Petronius launched a counterattack but faced strong resistance from Queen Amenarinas and her troops. After three years of intense fighting, both parties agreed to negotiate a peace treaty. Eventually, the Romans agreed to return their army to Egypt, withdraw their fort, and restore the land they had taken. The tax burden was also alleviated. Queen Amenarinas, known for her bravery in combat, personally fought alongside her soldiers. However, the full extent of her injuries and the harm inflicted by the Romans remains undisclosed, 
as the account of the war written in the Mariatic Screed has yet to be fully deciphered. Moving on to another remarkable figure, Carlotta Lukumi, who was abducted from the Aruba tribe and brought to Cuba as a child to endure a life of slavery in Matanzas. Despite her unfortunate circumstances, she possessed intelligence, musical talent, determination, and wit. In 1843, a fellow enslaved woman named Femina led an organized rebellion at the Sugar Plantation. Carlotta and her fellow warriors were liberated by Femina's efforts and proceeded to launch a well-coordinated armed uprising against several brutal slave plantations in the area. This brave battle persisted for a year until Carlotta was captured, tortured, and executed by Spanish landowners. Now let's delve into the story of Queen Zingamband, a highly intelligent and powerful ruler of the Ndongo and Matamba kingdoms, which are now part of modern-day Angola. In the 17th century, Queen Zinga fearlessly and cleverly fought against Portuguese colonization of the Central African coast, which aimed to control the slave trade. To strengthen her kingdom's military forces, she offered sanctuary to runaway slaves and enlisted Portuguese-trained African soldiers. Queen Zinga incited rebellion among the remaining people of Ndongo, which had fallen under Portuguese rule. She also formed an alliance with the Dutch against the Portuguese. However, despite their combined efforts, they were unable to completely drive out the Portuguese. After retreating to Matamba, Queen Zinga focused on developing the kingdom as a trading power and a gateway to the Central African interior. Upon her death in 1661 at the age of 81, Matamba had become a formidable kingdom that resisted Portuguese colonization attempts for an extended period. It was only in the late 19th century that Queen Zinga's kingdom was finally incorporated into Angola. These stories highlight the courageous and determined actions of black women throughout history, who fought against oppression and played significant roles in shaping their communities and resisting colonization. Their stories deserve recognition and celebration for their immense contributions. Thank you for watching, we hope you have gained insights into the story through this discussion. Please consider subscribing and clicking on the notification icon for future updates. Stay tuned for more episodes where we delve into critical issues found in the story.